It is a moonless morning. Very dark out here. And yes, that clock was right. It's 4.26 in the morning. Uh, been up since 3.30. Couldn't sleep, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna come up here to the top of the canyon and see if I can't find some animals. So, that's what we're doing. It's a quarter to five, and I am starting the uh, trail here. And, uh, oh man, there is no moon, so it is dark. This will be good. Hopefully, I'll gain this ridge and uh, get up soon enough to hopefully spot some animals. Well, this is a, as good a spot as any. So we'll just wait for the sun to come up and uh, see what happens. I'm kind of facing a southwestern direction. Um, I'm kind of up on the ridge so I can jump to either side if I want. And this is going to sound like one of those fish, story, fish stories, so to speak. But I have already seen a buck coming up the trail. And here's a lesson learned with batteries and flashlights. Is your flashlight will go out at the most inopportune time. I just walking up the trail, I turn and look, and I see these two shiny things staring right at me. Maybe 20 yards away in the brush. Now this is that same spot, I hope you can hear me because of the wind. It's the same area where I saw the uh, cougar scat. So uh, I sat there and watched it for a little while to find out what it was. And uh, then finally got my flashlight to kick on a little higher, and I can see the antlers. You know, it's a good little two point of course velvet this time of year and uh, my flashlight just was not kicking out the power that it needed to I needed to change the battery and I had the battery tucked away in my backpack so I couldn't get to it anyway Well, it was a fun trip. Got to hike up the trail, do a little bit of bushwhacking. Did get to see some deer, so that was nice. So, things I learned on this one, for me, keep a battery handy in here. I could have got a great shot of a buck with the camera had that battery been working, or had that flashlight had a fresh battery in it. Uh, another thing, that I'm starting to like quite a bit is this tarp, this really cheap tarp. It's an $8 one I've been using. I can also use it as a sitting pad or a kneeling pad. 
and being it's a cheap tarp, you know, I don't care that much about it. So, <sighs> gotta use the advantage of the things that you have, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This has been another fun one. It's a little bit after 7 o'clock in the morning, and I'm gonna head home before the family wakes up. All right, we'll see you guys later.